guys from Thailand here and today's video is going to be about getting scammed in Thailand yes it still happens and I'm going to tell you a couple of stories that I've actually heard from the horse's mouth I actually know the people who these stories belong to and I can tell the stories now because they no longer live here in Thailand um, I say two stories basically how they got scammed and got cheated out of some money I can see the funny side of it because stupidity got them scammed out of some money and here I am to tell you the story not to fall into the same trap. Now the first story is about this guy that used to come to Thailand for three or four months at a time and then go back to his own country and whilst he was here he lived it up had a good time and he was a bit of a bodybuilder went to the gym every day so he took a few steroids and party hard and he, he never really kept a regular girlfriend he just kept picking and choosing what he wanted so but he had his regulars whilst he was over here and it was one of these regulars that the story is about this guy's regular um, he used to party hard with her and you know have a good time and he, he, because he was a bodybuilder he had a very very fit body because he was at the gym every day so he took a few steroids and he you had know, to keep them muscles up and he also liked a bit of the wacky backy now cannabis over here the wacky baggy it's illegal so you can go to jail for having any of it so a westerner having drugs in his possession is even more severe than a, a thai person so this girl that he was with she had a contact to get his weed and every week he, she used to go get his weed and on this particular day that this scam happened they'd been having a bit of an argument um, because obviously he's been seeing other girls as well and she wasn't very happy at, at that she thought she was sort of the number one but uh, anyway he'd agreed to buy some weed so he'd asked her to go and get his supply of, of weed so he'd give her 5,000 baht to go and get his supply and lo and behold about an hour or so later she rings him up and says I've been stopped by the police with your produce and they're going to put me in jail unless you pay 5,000 baht to the police. So his answer to that is, well, not my problem. You sort it out. Not my problem at all. Puts the phone down on her. So she rang him back up 10 minutes later and says, if you, I'm going to send a, a motorbike taxi around to where you go drinking and I want 5,000 baht from you now. Otherwise, I'm going to tell the police where you live and that this cannabis is for you. So she said, it's up to you. Give the taxi man 5,000 baht or I tell the police. So he sat there. Ten minutes later, this taxi man pulls up at the bar where he goes drinking and he asks for this guy's name. He wasn't stupid. He got 5,000 baht, put it in an envelope and give it to the taxi man. And hence, he never seen the girl again from that day on. So, speaking with this guy, he was fuming and he said, I've been robbed, I've been cheated by this girl, this scumbag of a girl. And he said, you know, he said 5,000 baht, well, he's 10,000 baht because I give her 5,000 baht for my cannabis. And he said, I'll give her another 5,000 baht to stop being arrested by the police. He said, I've been scammed out the money, scammed out the money. And I said, well, put it another way. Had she have told the police that you used to get this produce, and they did a search of your place i'm sure they might have found residue of it all around the house or drug taken paraphernalia and i said so that five thousand baht that you've just paid to give her whether she got stopped by the police or not at the end of the day that could have saved you jail time so i said you're just silly for buying drugs over here anyway i said you know i said there's no need for them i said you're going to get caught one day with them and I said, so I think you've had a lucky escape from all of this lot. So the moral of the story is, you can't trust anybody over here, especially when there's illegal substances available. And you're always going to get caught over here because farangs, they're easy to pay money to the police. So keep your nose clean. Don't do it. Learn the story of some silly, stupid man who thought he knew the system and he could get away with it and he ended up paying more than what he should have done. So that, that was the, the story of the, of the guy who takes illegal substances. So the second scam, again, it, it wasn't a friend of mine, he just used to come drinking in the same bar 
and because he, he had the story to tell, he was telling everybody, war is me and I've been hammered and I've been robbed and I've been cheated. And my view of it is, well, you've been stupid. You know, that's why you lost your money. A fool and his money is soon parted. And basically what it was, one of the um, girlfriends that he was with, he hadn't been with her for very long. And um, she said about, oh, she said, do you want to make some easy money? And obviously everybody's in for easy money if they can, but this is when the alarm bell should start ringing. Easy money, no such thing as easy money. And she said, I have a friend who runs a, a money lending business. I have a friend who, who lends money to Thai people. And if you lend this man 5,000 baht, you'll get 1,500 baht back for lending him the 5,000 baht in, in one month. So in effect you get 6,500 baht back. So he thought that was a, a fair enough rate of exchange and he thought I'll give it a go, 5,000 baht. So a month later, sure enough, he got 6,500 baht back again. So the lady said, do you want to do the same again? 1,500 baht for 5,000. So the second month he does it again, lends the girl 5,000 baht and a month later 6,500 baht back. So then the girl says, well, if you want to make more money, you lend more money. So he thought about it and he said, okay. He said, what if I give you 10,000 baht? And she said, 10,000 baht, you get 4,000 baht back. So he thought, 10,000, 4,000, I'm nearly getting half my money back for a month. So he did the same again, lent the girl 10,000 baht and a month later he got 14,000 baht back and he thought wow I'm onto a good thing here so then the sting in the tail came and she said well what about 50,000 baht 50,000 baht and then you'll get 30,000 baht back sorry 50,000 get 30,000 back in one month he said yeah okay I'll do that so I give the girl 50,000 baht never seen the girl again so again it was greed greed lost him his money and it was a small amount to pay for the for the girl or the the person that was lending the money to tempt the guy into lending all of this money he lost 50,000 baht because of greed and that's another way of getting scammed in Thailand and both of these stories are true there's no need to make stories up here in Thailand because there's so many silly things happen every day over here in Thailand and people can be soon parted from their money with the various scams and things like that. So if you like the story give them a thumbs up, if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down. So from Les, living the dream in Thailand, until the next video, bye for now.